Happy day, everybody. Uh, Poor Richard's retirement is out on paperback. It will be followed up by Kindle and audiobook here shortly. Uh, but just want to put together a little YouTube release. The only reason I'm not doing a video is because I don't have a book to show you, so I'm just going to have the image up there. Basically, I'll explain this to you. If you do not have enough money saved up for retirement, or you haven't started saving up for retirement, there's basically just a crisis, like a real one. Everything's a crisis in the middle. Oh my God, it's a crisis. This is a crisis. No, it's not. It's just people fucking up and the world won't end. But this one actually is somewhat of a crisis because when I did the research, uh, only 15% of the baby boomers, you know, the, the, the fuckers that are supposed to be retiring uh, yesterday, only 15% of them actually have enough money saved up for retirement. And then that's the best. It goes to pot from there. And so I know, uh, especially my readers, a lot of you are younger. You were like, oh my gosh, do I, I don't have anything saved up in an IRA, IRA 401k. Oh my God, I understand. Don't worry, I was there too. Uh, so what I did is I took uh, a hard, mathematical, realistic, minimalistic uh, look at retirement planning, 401ks, IRA, stuff like that, and delved into it with the philosophy of putting your fellow man first. Like if you got, if you got rid of all your stupid shit that you don't need to buy... You know, all your doilies and ladies, all your crap, all your worthless liberal arts degrees. And men, oh, don't think you're guilty. You're innocent here. You guys are just as guilty. You go buy these stupid new cars and clothes and bottle service in Vegas and all, you know, your fancy shirts. All right. I said, okay, we got rid of all that shit. And instead, we replaced it with, you know what? I just want to have a good conversation with my best friend. I got uh, loved ones, family, friends, loved ones. I want to go for a bike ride. Like, if you got rid of all your materialism, if you only bought what you needed, and you had fun, you had some fun. It wasn't just like you're some monk starving out there in the desert. But if you just didn't buy the stupid shit all Americans typically buy, it's amazing how much easier it is. Um, now, it's a little bit more philosophical and in-depth because... Uh, our desire to consume, consumption, materialism, that just didn't come out of nowhere. Uh, it's conditioned with marketing and advertising, but an even stronger force is genetics and biology. You stay alive by consumption. People, oh, consumption, materialism, it's bad. Well, no, that's like saying money is the root of all evil. No, you, you need this to survive. Uh, but since we have such an abundance of stuff now, uh, this Darwinistic trait, this consumption, you know, dogs eat until they they throw up because they don't know where their next meal is coming from, genetically speaking, millions of years ago, before dog, when dogs were wolves, when they were respectable dogs, not these little pansy-ass teacup dogs we got now, that's how you survive. And humans got the exact same This is uh, a genetic programming. This is why it's so hard to diet. This is why it's so hard to go to the... It, so I address that as well. Anyway... The end result, and I'm not joking here, I, 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 of course, we, I'm a braggart, but in a humor sense, and I don't really mean it, but I am serious about this. This short essay, it's only, it's only 140 pages. Small book, too, by the way. I want to keep it essay length. If everyone were to read this, our financial problems, retirement problems, anyway, would go away tomorrow. Right? This is truly a revolutionary essay. I don't say that lightly. Like, i just trying to sell books. I am trying to sell books. I am trying to sell essays. Uh, but if there's any justice, uh, I will be a millionaire by tomorrow <laughs> because this is the solution. And it's not hard. It is totally feasible. This essay puts retirement, a successful retirement, in the hands of every average American. That's why the subtitle is Retirement for everyday Americans. Okay? So, please, if you are, if you do, simply this. Do you have enough saved up for retirement? You don't? Then this book is for you. Go get this book. Stop fucking around. Stop worrying about it. Read this book. It'll put everything into context. It holds your hands. There's even a little addendum at the end. Like, okay, here's how you start. I don't tell you, okay, you go get a brokerage account over here and you talk to Bob. I don't go into that level of hand-holding. But this is the book that will give you the overall strategy, the all overall retirement uh, investing philosophy that will make retirement feasible, possible, almost guarantee. I can't guarantee anything. Stock market can always crash, stuff like that. But almost, this is the book that's going to guarantee 
more than any other book that you're going to have a successful retirement. That's truthfully what this essay is. But you just got to spend the, what is it? I think I priced it at $10.999. Because saving that one penny, boy, you guys won't know. It's $10. The only reason I do that is that I remember there was a state like, yeah, that, that actually studies show that I'm like, it does? They're like, yeah. Well, that was 20 years ago in college. I read the study. Maybe it's different now. I don't know. Anyway, for less than $10, uh, you're, you're going to have a heck of a lot easier retirement. You're gonna For 10 bucks today... You can have a retirement when you're 65 or 70 or whenever it is you want to retire. Anyway, so it's Poor Richard's Retirement. It's available on uh, Amazon.com now in paperback. I don't know if the Kindle is up. Uh, I just uploaded that last night. But it will be. In, in short due time, it will be available on Kindle. So keep an eye out for that as well. I'll provide a link and do another video later when it's up. And then uh, it will be available in audio, but that obviously we have to have the, the recording artists record that. But still, seriously, if, if you're not adequately prepared for retirement, are you worried about it? Get this book. And if you got a buddy, go get this book for them. Because uh, it's not going to be it's not going to be in the libraries. I don't like sharing my book with libraries. I never understood that. Self-published authors, you know, authors in general. Oh, yeah, get my book to the library. What's, like, what's wrong with you? Especially finance books. It's like... you. You're, you are giving advice on finance, and the first thing you do is you lower your profits by letting a, a library have it? You don't run a charity here. All right, that's all we got. It's available Poor Richard's Retirement. It's available on uh, uh, Amazon.com. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.